In this video, I'm going to show you how to paint the soft fur edges of the cat using wet into wet. Also, I will show you how to paint the whiskers. By the way, I just finished this book, 10 step-by-step -step watercolor tutorials. Include how to paint simple still life, to landscape, and portraits. Go to this video description, you will see the link to download the digital version of this book. Now let me show you how to paint the fur with wet into wet. Use the water to break the color to see if it work. Okay, that's good. Get a little bit more yellow and a little bit more brownish color. This is good. And I'm going to have this, have that little bit soft color, put it over here. I'm going to put the water in here. And I need more water. Okay, I don't want the, the color coming in. Instead, I want the water coming out. How that look? I'm going to keep adding water in here. Okay, I'm softening the edge. Uh, here you go. You see the water over here? I said pushing, pushing the color away. So here you go. Be a little careful. If you're pushing the, too much water on the outside, it may be just going to integrate into the color. So I'm going to keep adding, adding the water, pushing the color out like that. At the same time, uh, you can also use the brush it's dragging through but i think this is pretty good i keep watching and to see how this is going okay it could be a little bit different okay i'm gonna pushing that even more is it think about how much water do you need to push this and by using the water and you see that that's pushing the water out and as I'm going to zoom in, that's maybe too much water. So making the, the lower part of the cat, it's maybe a little bit too much out. In that case, we're going to come back with the calligraphy brush. Now I'm going to open up like a small flat brush. Now I'm going to actually drag that some color in if I want to. Like drag the color in to uh, adjust that the edge over here. So here you go, like that can be coming in over here, like that. Keep opening this, uh, the brush, let it open up and I can push the color coming back in. So you're controlling uh, the edge. So when it's just a little bit more dry, I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to reshape a neck another round and coming here. And now I'm going to set it. This is would be. Oh, that's good. Like that. Apply the color. Make sure the outside softer. Oh, now the chair already there, huh? Maybe this side a little bit come up a little bit. Now you can make the shape of the chair. So that's good. Now the next thing we're going to do, and I'm going to use the calligraphy brush, maybe better control. So let's take a look. I'm going to open up the hair of the brush like that. Now you can see that. Now I'm going to take this same color. Okay, take a little color over here. Now I'm going to come in over here. Take a look. Now I'm going to drag that in. Okay, are you looking? Drag it in like that. And that's finish the whole look. And drag that in like this. And maybe just a few here, over here, like that. Now the edge of the fur by having the wet into wet first, and now coming back over here to use the uh, calligraphy brush. 
Now over here you can have something a little bit deeper. Just use a few here at the corner and coming in a little bit. That's good. Like that. And a couple here. Okay. Now I'm going to show you how they paint the whiskers. Grosh, titanium white. I can just pick the gouache white directly with the brush. Okay, let's take a look. You do one thing at a time, okay? Looking for one from here. Just one. Keep it going. Like that. One whisker. And take a look at the next one you're going to do. I'm going to use my hand to support. Okay. Another. And you do look and analyze it. How you're going to do it. How much you're going to do. Right, and you can do another continue over here. That's good. Some dinner line, some little bit dominate. Okay, here you go. Okay, some a wicker. Okay, like that. Now you see the whisker already. And for the other side, I can show you use different technique, but I don't suggest that you use diff two different technique and the same painting. For this demonstration, I'm just going to uh, anything that really sharp, it really helps to do this. Okay. And if you have a Dexacto knife, this is a small utility knife that works too. Like I'm going to do this, for example. And just use about 20 degree to the paper, like that. Making sure in the, you're going the same direction every time. Okay, otherwise it would make the line too big. You see that? You can gently scratch. I'm going to take this line. Like that. Right, and compared to this, this two technique, the second one is you need to be very, very careful, and just to make it make the line a little bit softer, scratch over. So in comparison, I would prefer more with the opaque white. Okay. Now I'm going to do a couple more lines over here. That's good. And I'm going to do a couple more lines. Like that. So here you go. Now this is good. A little bit more line coming over here. That's how you create a cat's whisker. If you want to watch the full version of this painting video, now go to patreon.com slash youngchen. You will watch it for free now.